probably tell by the title of the video, today I'm going to be unboxing the Moto G. Now I'd like to say a big thank you to Motorola for sending this phone out to me to review for you guys. So let's get right into the video. The Moto G is an entry level slash mid-tier Android device. It starts at $180 for the 8GB model which is unlocked or off contract. And there's a 16GB model also available but that goes for $200. So let's see what the Moto G has inside the box. So on the front of the box there's a picture of the Moto G itself and it says Motorola, a Google company, and for those of you who, who didn't know that, Motorola Mobility is now owned by Google, and there's nothing else on the front of the box. Back of the box, there's just some useful information about the Moto G. It talks about the design and that the screen is also made of Corning Gorilla Glass, so it's crash resistant, and it also talks that it runs Android, so you can use Google Chrome, or YouTube, or Google Maps, or all your Google apps. First open up the box, you're greeted with the Moto G itself. Setting the Moto G aside and lifting the flap on the bottom, you're greeted with the instruction manual and quick start guide. And then the last thing you get in the box is the micro USB to USB charging cable. Now there's no wall adapter in the, in the box and that's probably because the phone is $180 so it's so cheap. So Motorola had to cut some corners to keep this phone at this price. It's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. I'm going to remove the plastic off the screen of the Moto X. Now that is easy the most satisfying sound a tech person would ever love to hear. Taking a look at the Moto G itself, on the front of the phone there's the front facing 1.3 megapixel camera and there's the 4.5 inch LCD screen covered in Corning Gorilla Glass 3. Now the screen has a resolution of 1280 by 720p which and it's a 4.5 inch screen so it has a PPI of 326 so you will not be able to see the pixels on the screen even though it's not on par with today's high end phones with 1080p screens it's still above 300 PPI and should not have any problems with the screen at all. On the right side there's the volume rockers and the power button there's nothing on the left side and then on the bottom you find one of the, micro, the main microphone and the micro USB port for charging the phone. And on the top there's the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the snutter microphone. Back of the phone there's the rear facing 5 megapixel camera capable of recording 720p video at 30 fps and below the camera there's the flash. Now I'm actually really surprised that they were able to put a flash on a device this cheap but yeah, and right next to the camera, there's a speaker, and that's pretty much it. Now, the Moto G can do something a lot of phones that come out these days cannot do. The Moto G actually has a removable bat, but when you remove the bat, here, you find out that the battery itself is not removable. But the only reason you would remove the bat is to insert the SIM card in to the phone, and that slot is in the top right corner of the back of the phone. My first impression of the Moto G is that it actually has a really nice design. It does not go too far off of the design of the, its older brother, the Moto X, and it kind of looks ex like an exact clone of the Moto X, only with a smaller 4.5 inch screen. Now I have the, bl the black color here, and I'm pretty sure that's the only color the Moto G is available in, but I think the Moto G has remov removable colors. So overall, I would say the Moto G has a really nice design and I like it a lot. I also like that there's a dimple on the back where you can put your finger there. So it also extends the grip you have of the phone. And the phone does really feel nice in the palm of your hand because it has a curved back and it fits well in your hand. So yeah guys, this has been Super Sexy and thanks for watching this video. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe because there's more content coming out on this channel soon. And I'd like to say another big thank you to Motorola for sending this phone to me to review for you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.